So, welcome to this tutorial of how to install the VRCraft prefab. First, you need to import the file downloaded here, VRCraft, and drag and drop to Unity project. They will show this window, just click import everything. If you want to just upload the avatar, you can see it these two things, the PC version of the avatar and the Quest version of avatar. But if you want to put the prefab in an avatar you own, first you need to get your avatar scene open, then go to VRCraft, prefabs, and drag and drop the VRCraft to the scene, okay? You need to drop here. And you see this appears, okay? Now you need to open your avatar and drag the VRCraft inside. Then right click, unpack. Good! Now you need to expand both the VRCraft and your avatar. And you need to find the head, the left hand, the right hand and the hip. Okay, so let's find it. Hip is right here, so drag the hip right here and find the head, head inside the spine, chest, neck and head. So just drag and drop this in the head and then let's go to the arms. So left shoulder, left arm, arm L, uh, forearm L, hand L and here, my left hand here, right. Now let's go to the right hand, right arm, forearm, hand, and drop this here. Now we need to zero all the positions. First for the right hand, zero, zero, zero. The left hand, zero, zero, zero. The head, zero, zero. And the hip, zero, zero. But don't make this to the rotation and the scale, just the position, okay? So let's position the block of the hand. To make this, you need to go to the block hand, expand it, and find the location of the block. So you need to put it, for me it's fine here, but yeah, maybe right here, good. And if you want to test to the left hand, you need to click here in block hand and change this number to zero and this to one, and we can see that this goes to the to the left hand. Good. And if you want to test the cursor in the left hand, click here in the cursor container and put zero in the right hand and one in the left hand and it's fine. And to check if the head is the right position, put zero here and in the head put one. But you need to make sure if the red arrow is pointing in this direction. So let's put in the right hand again and this in the right hand again. Now you need to import the effects layer. To do this, you need a prefab. The name of this prefab is Avatar 3.0 Manager. You can find this in the description. So you open this and download this file right here. Choose the folder and then import this to your project. Import all, and then you need to go here, VRC Lab, Avatar 3.0 Manager, and this window will appear. So just drag and drop your avatar right here, go to Effects Layer, and add Animator to Merge. And you need to put VRCraft Effects Layer right here. So go to VRCraft, VRCraft Prefab, and here, VRCraft Effects. Drop here, go to the bottom, and click Merge on Currently. Then you need to go to this tab and drop the parameters right here and click Copy. Good. Now you need to put the VRCraft menu inside your own menu. So click in your avatar, go to the bottom one and find your menu, double click. So this is your menu. Click to Add Control, expand it, put in the submenu click here and click in menu prefab and you can see is the right folder VRCraft prefab menu prefab yay now you have the prefab in your avatar if you want to add an icon just click here and put the crafting table icon if you want 
and put VR Craft. And it's done! You correctly imported the VR Craft prefab in your avatar. One little thing before we end this tutorial. You can notice that you are using the faithful texture. If you want to use the vanilla textures, you need to download the little package I put in the description. It's the VRCraft Vanilla. So to install it, you just drag this unit package into your project and click Import. You can see they're changing every texture to be the vanilla one. So import it. And here, you're using the vanilla textures. If you like this prefab, please share with your friends. This means a lot to me. And see you in VRChat. Goodbye!